Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel on this Halloween day. Um, I thought today I would share with you the settings that I use on my Fuji X. I have a Fuji X-H1 camera, um, but I'd like to show you that the settings that I've been using to record slow motion um, movies in camera using the full HD speed recording utility that's uh, in the camera. So um, what I thought we'd do is I'll just do a quick um, explanation of what that utility is. I'll show you some video of um, that I took yesterday down at um, Fleet Pond in Hampshire. And then quickly after that, I will show you the settings that I used to, um, to take those videos. Okay, so let me just start by quickly reading you um, what Fuji X um, or how they describe this utility. So full HD high speed recording allows you to record high frame rate full HD movies that will play back in slow motion, allowing you to view fast moving subjects or details. You can record full HD video at two times, four times, or five times speed and frame rates of 120 or 100 frames per second. The movies will play back at either half quarter or one fifth speed. So it's giving you an option there within the video settings um, to select um, your speed and playback. And there are about, I don't know, about six or seven different options. I'll show you at the end the options that I chose. But um, in the meantime, let's take a quick look at uh, a little bit of a uh, film. clips there of uh, what I saw as walking around uh, Fleet Pond yesterday. So um, let's now take a look at the settings in my um, Fuji um, X-H1 to uh, show you what we need to do to, to set this up. So at the moment um, you can see we are in the uh, video section. Um, Bit that we're interested in is this full HD speed recording option here but before we go into that just notice that the regular movie mode is now grayed out because if you have this selected um, you cannot use this mode therefore to get back to your movie mode you must switch full HD high speed recording off um, but okay so let's um, 
let's take a quick look at the options that we've got in full HD high speed recording. So if I move my um, selector across to the right to get to the options, um, you can see that I've got five times 24p selected. I'll move the selector to the right again to see a little bit more. And we can see that my selection is five times 24p at 120p. So that's what I went for. That's what the um, little clips that you saw were taken at. If we uh, just move up and down just to show you the options that you have, there are not too many of them. So we've got what one, two, three, four, five. We've got six possible options that we can use. Um, and um, when we finished, you have to uh, switch it off if you want to get back to regular videoing, as I said before. So I think that's the option that I had. So that's it in camera, nice and easy. The remaining settings that you'll use, um, what I'll do is I'll run through now what I had in camera. Um, so starting with so I used the um, five times 24 that you saw there, 120p. Shutter speed, your shutter speed should be double the frame rate. So as I was using um, 120p, double that is 240. I selected a shutter rate at 240 or 250 around that region. You want your shutter speed to be double your frame rate. OK, um, ISO, I just let the camera um, do the work there. So I just selected auto ISO. Aperture is down to what you want, um, whether or not you want to throw the background out to focus or whatever, or just use the sweet spot if you know what that is on your lens. Um, so really, that's down to your personal preference. Focus mode on the camera, I use single server uh, focusing. I did try continuous um, focusing to see if that improved anything, but it, but it didn't really. Um, there was an issue, or I had an issue, um, keeping objects that are moving in focus. And the only way that I could really do that was to um, stop the recording, refocus, start recording again, and then try and lose that gap with a transition in, in post perhaps um, if you know a better way of doing this. But um, I, I did find it quite difficult to, to keep things in focus that were on the move using this method. OK, uh, white balance. I just use a preset. I didn't want to use auto white balance because I was pointing my camera in all kinds of different directions. And I didn't I wanted some continuity with the white balance. So I just use a preset um, for I think shady day type preset, or I could have chose a Kelvin or whatever. But um, in this sort of situation, I, I wouldn't have used um, auto white balance. And that's pretty much the settings that I had on my camera. The only other things um, worthy of note or worthy of mentioning is perhaps you only get uh, six minutes recording time um, when using high speed. You um, must remember to switch this off to revert to normal um, videoing, as I said before. Videoing does take up, it does use up your batteries fast, so, so bring spares. Um, another point to note is that your microphones do not work um, when this option is selected. Both internal and external microphones do not record. And um, that are if you have the Fuji X-H1 and, and the user manual, there are some details about this on page 138. And um, so that's pretty much the settings that I used um, to, to record in full HD high speed recording. OK, so that was the settings that I used. Um, I appreciate that the uh, video clips weren't the greatest, but this this is my first time using this. So um, I found it quite fascinating and I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be doing this um, a lot more 
it was uh, I find it very interesting um, but anyway I will copy the list of settings that I use for this so if you haven't done this and you want to give it a go I'll just put down what what I did into the notes um, just for quick reference if you're interested um, otherwise um, I hope you found this useful and uh, thank you very much for your time and happy Halloween and goodbye.